What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Infinite Magic Raid, and today we're going to be talking about the second of two Legend Heroes coming this week, Rich. So he is a super tank, he has the taunt capability, which is very nice, where it just makes everybody have to attack him. Uh, it, it's better than like a goading effect, because it's just they just have to attack you. Uh, effect hit is going to be playing a role, because he can lower the enemy's attack, he can lower the enemy's crit damage, a lot of cool stuff, and most importantly... Uh, he has some pretty good reflect damage as well. So building him as like an absolute tank, maybe some turn meter progression and stuff on your team. Uh, he can do some crazy stuff for your team, protecting your damage dealers, your supporters, and also just reflecting a lot of damage, which honestly, building him towards reflect damage, even in his emblems, might be a pretty cool thing as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you go check out the other video. Yesterday, we put out a video on Slavel, the other single target damage dealing nuker legend hero that's coming out. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> So much like yesterday, we're going to go through the official video that they put out for this hero, and we're going to see what we can take away from him. I've already watched it a few different times to look through it, so there's a couple things I definitely want to highlight. He looks pretty cool, I'll say that. He's got this gigantic mace. If only they made him like a dwarf instead. He looks pretty cool. He's kind of like a Frankenstein's monster type thing, but with like... The hammer, man, he almost like reminds me of the butcher from Diablo. <laughs> he kind of does like with the weapons. Granted, he doesn't look anything like it, but he looks pretty solid overall. Um, so he is a legend hero. He's a defense hero in the name of Brotherhood with, uh, oh, geez. I always forget the faction name for this one. Every single, I think it's just Green, green Mark, right? Green Mark faction? I, I keep mixing up Mark, Mark and faction every time, but he is a Green Mark, which could be good. We'll have to see. Um, overall though, he is going to be a tanky hero on your team. He looked like he almost said Hodor in the background. <laughs> All right. So let's just go with the first thing. His basic attack, furious smashing deals, two different stages of 90% defense damage. So again, he deals damage based on his defense number, not his attack number. So staying away from attack is a very good idea to a single enemy with a 20% chance to inflict provoke for one turn that can be increased to 30%. Uh, this is provoke provokes different than taunt because provoke launches an attack and provokes the enemy to basically turn their attack into a basic attack that always hits him. It's like a taunt effect. It's a little bit different. Uh, the defense or the uh, the defense attack really isn't anything to talk about on this one. You guys will get to see in the animation here. He does one hit, two hits right there, and then the provoke hits up there, meaning that they are forced to do a basic attack on him, which, you know, it's decent, but it only hits one target, so it is what it is. Hammer of Rampage, so deals 120% defense damage to all enemies, so that's pretty good, with a 40% chance to reduce their attack by 40%. When you do get him leveled up, this is only a three-turn cooldown. Uh, the defense damage goes up to 160%, and it is a 50% chance to reduce their attack by 40%. That right there is a very strong debuff. However, if you do get a second copy of him and you can level up his exclusive to level 1, the Hammer of Rampage has the same chance to reduce all enemies' crit damage by 60%. So 40% lower attack, lower 60% crit damage. That pretty much counters uh, the Seven's buff to your hero like if you get that off it's like it's just canceling each other out essentially pretty cool for pvp might be pretty strong for pve as well especially like power of mark and things like that we'd have to see but that's exclusive one so that one is not too bad but like i said it does hit everybody which is very nice um you'll see here in this one it doesn't have the exclusive just yet just gives everybody that attack down simple as that uh but less damage coming in the better his passive skill is called Rage Absorption. Restores self HP by 4% of max HP and increases self turn meter by 10% when taking crit damage. So this is actually a hero you probably, I mean, so here's the thing. Increasing the turn meter is amazing for him. You definitely want this to happen because you want to see him use his second active skill as many times as possible and have it up as much as possible. So like I said, a turn meter team would be good. I would honestly not build any tenacity on this hero because tenacity lowers the incoming crit damage you receive. Um, 
I mean, you can still, it's not like it lowers the chance to be crit. It's just lowering the amount of, I mean, yeah, you can run tenacity, HP, a hit effect. I'll show you one set that's pretty good. They do highlight in this video with some other ones, but there's one particularly that you can craft that I think is very good. But the fact that he can restore up to 8% of max HP every time he takes crit damage, uh, increases his turn meter by 10%. Those things are very good for a passive because again, like I said, Turn meter on him is going to be very, very important. And one of his exclusives actually helps him out with it as well. His final active ability, this is the one that I want to talk about, Taunt versus Provoke. Sell, uh, grant self Taunt, which forces enemies to target him. And he gains himself a shield of 25% of his max HP, which again is why I think HP is the more important stat to go for for him. Uh, of course, this does go up to what? 40% of his max HP. That's a big shield. Lower the cooldown down to four. And then here's the big one. Exclusive level three grants Fritch res debuff for one turn and increases his damage reflect by 30%. So not only is he not going to be able to be like, you know, he's not going to have to take debuffs or anything he's also going to increase his reflect damage by 30 percent, which is pretty cool so as you see by default you'll see him get hit by uh yoko it looks like she takes actually uh might not have any reflect damage built into the skill at all uh, this is going to go over the exclusive once again so it kind of goes down the list of what we've already talked about here uh, the big one, of course, is his big AoE attack also lowers. You see the second second one right there lowers their crit damage as well, which is nice. The second one is interesting. So this one we didn't really see, but French increases his self meter by 5% when an ally takes crit damage. So normally he, if he takes crit damage, it increases his turn meter by 10%. If an ally is 5%. Uh, this is pretty good if it's like big AOE attacks, especially in a PvP situation. Each attack can only trigger this effect up to once. So even if it is a big AOE attack, he still only gets 5%. It's not like he gets 5 times 4 other heroes. That would be pretty insane here. But you can see his turn meter going up every single time uh, Hal gets hit. And then lastly, this is the one that gives him the res debuff and increases uh that reflect damage as you'll see over here watch the damage you can see all that reflect hitting back at the caster of the ability which is pretty nice i don't know if you can build like a crazy reflect build or something but if there was a hero that do it it might be him because he's forcing people to hit him and then on top of that uh having all that reflect is pretty sweet so they do kind of highlight you know hp defense and effect hit are very important i would try to focus more on hp and effect hit overall tenacity is okay uh defense will increase his attacks damage but his attacks really not the one you care about one thing i'm going to pause here in a second is the different set so defense rate tenacity harding sets okay tough set is the one that i really really like for him he gets hp tenacity and effect resistance it's not effect hit which you know if it was effect hit, that would be pretty crazy uh, but I do like this set mostly. The tough set seems very, very strong for him. Uh, emblem and auras, again, emblems, there's, I forget exactly which node it is. I think it's this node right here. This is the one that increases the reflect damage you deal. I think that one's going to be very good. They also add in the, uh, the ability down here. This is the one where you share damage when your allies are taking damage. That one, again, synergizes very well with what he's built for, especially if you're going for like crazy HP levels. And of course, the range hit aura giving more effect hit is a really cool way to do this. So let me know what you guys think about this hero. Could be an interesting one to build, to be honest. He looks cool, has some cool abilities. See you guys next time.